What's up, family? Welcome back to another episode of Finance Fridays. Um, it's going to be a little different in this video because we will not be doing any cash stuffing. I know. Womp womp. If I, can, <laughs> if I can actually find that sound effect, y'all won't have to hear me do that. But, um, so we won't be stuffing anything. We're just going to be going over my budget because let me explain to y'all what had happened okay so what had happened was was I got started swiping my card for stuff and honestly it's the bank's fault like I'm be real with y'all it was the bank's fault because you know how like you swipe something and on your account when you go to check your account it'll say that the money has been pulled out and it'll decrease how much you have in the bank right that's normally how it happens or it'll say like pending but they still decrease the amount of money that you have in the bank because that money is being has been basically put on hold and they're getting ready or whoever is getting ready to take that money out well nothing bad happened like my account isn't overdrafted like none of those problems none of those issues but I'm trying to be cautious because Tom Tom's birthday is Saturday tomorrow. And so I like ordered him some, um, I put the birthday money that I had saved into my account and I bought him um, a new tablet on Amazon and I got him some um, Jujitsu, ju I don't know, something about a Jitsu. It's a little creature. So I bought him some of those from Walmart because they were like on his little list of things he wanted so those things that I purchased are still labeled as pending on my account even though after I purchased them the amount of money available in my checking account decreased the fact that it still says pending kind of scares me because I've had instances where purchases have come up as pending and they decrease the amount of money in my bank account but then I go to check it a couple days later and it's like they finally took that money out and now I have way less money than I originally thought I did so I got my paycheck today and I did not go to the bank to withdraw anything it's all just gonna sit there and just stay put until all the things that are labeled as pending stop so we most likely won't get to the cash stuffing video until because it's the weekend so we'll give it to like Tuesday yes um, I did however uh, go to the bank and I pulled out the $30 that I normally do for gas and $50 for groceries it's the only thing that I took out of the bank everything else we're just gonna leave it there until Navy Federal gets his life in order so Today we're just going to be going over my budget for my first paycheck in April and this is my budget by paycheck binder from the budget mom and she always gives you a calendar for every month so this is the calendar for April and I just write through like when each bill is due so the on the first I had to pay aftercare and that is basically daycare for Thomas and Theo because the way my work schedule is set up and the way Thomas's work schedule is, like he has to do some training later on this month where he's gonna be gone for like a week and a half. So it's just gonna be me with the boys. So they needed something to do because I work the night shift and so I, it's something I had to get. So we had to put them into daycare. Well, aftercare is what they call it here. Um, so basically they catch the bus from school straight to the after school program and they just play and run themselves ragged until they get picked up at six o'clock. So thankfully, being that we are a military family, they do take it out of your paycheck on the 1st and the 15th or basically you pay for it on the 1st and the 15th. You can split it up or you can pay the whole amount in full for the entire month. But we decided to do the bi-weekly route. So I paid the first payment, which was $161. And then come the 15th, Thomas will pay 
that payment. So that was aftercare. And then I also marked down my paydays. And listen, April is already looking like a good month to me because we have three paydays in this month. Uno, dos, tres. Three. Three paydays in April. Like, only when you're an adult are you excited to get paid three times. Like, oh goodness. So, three paydays and then my Finger Hut bill and Netflix bill, they come out on the 7th and the 8th, respectively. Then Comcast comes out. Then my Credit One bill, credit card, and my Amazon Music, those all come out. Uh, for this first paycheck so that's how I try to like keep it in track my first paycheck goes towards paying for my credit card bills Netflix Comcast and aftercare which aftercare actually didn't come out of this current paycheck that I got paid today it came out of leftover money that I had from stimulus so I didn't have to dip into my paycheck this month for aftercare so bam, that's how that works. And then I get paid again on the 16th. And like I said, Thomas is doing our 15th aftercare payment. So for my second paycheck on the 16th, um, my actual Amazon Prime will be coming out. Canva, and I got Disney Plus again, guys. I had let it go to you know try to free up some money for our trip to Disney. But y'all know, they came out with Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and I had to see it, so we got Disney Plus again. So yeah, I mean, we might as well just keep it, because they even got the Mighty Ducks. Like, you, for nostalgia's sake, I had to see the Mighty Ducks. So yeah, we got Disney Plus again. Um, and then my car insurance, and then YouTube Premium also comes out of my 16th payment my second payment on the 16th let me clarify that and then on the 30th your girl gets paid again it's a beautiful thing such a beautiful thing all right so that is the calendar of how april so far is looking with all my bills when they're due and what paycheck is going to be used to pay for them so moving right along so the page And now we are getting into our paycheck bill tracker. So I have it down um, for my you know, main job, which is at the commissary. This paycheck was $731.18. So I always do bills first before I go into like my envelopes and sinking funds and all that stuff. So Finger Hut, because I put 200 on it from stimulus, I actually do not have a bill due this month, but I still want to pay that down, so I'm just going to put 30 on it anyway. Um, our Netflix is $13.99, Comcast is $9.95, Credit One, this as well, I do not have a bill due this month because when I got stimulated, I put $200 on that credit card as well, so no bill is due. For me for credit one this month that I'm gonna put money on it anyway so 35 will be going on to credit one and then aftercare we can kind of skip that because that is no longer a factor since ha it's already been paid so um, then savings I do 5% of my paycheck straight to my savings account so that is $36 that goes straight to savings and then, March Madness was a wonderful, wonderful thing. We managed to save $268. Yay! Party, confetti, horns, yay! Music. Okay, so, <laughs> we just had a quick celebration. So, it was... So we were able to put the deposit down for our Disney cruise for May of 2022, and the deposit was um, two, no, 
Our deposit for the cruise was, I want to say, seven hundred, like thirty-three dollars or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, all I had to pay was three hundred and I believe thirty-three dollars. But I combined travel with the two sixty-eight that we got from Disney, and so I actually gave more towards it. So. Long story short, our deposit is in for the Disney Cruise. And so now I thought it was going to be like they give you a set amount that you have to pay every month, but they don't. You pay what you can as you want to. And then the only thing is you have a deadline of February 8th of 2022. I have to have, I have to pay off the remaining balance. So we worked it out, did the math, which is $300 a piece each month that we need to give. So $600 every month to finish paying off the rest of our Disney cruise by the time April rolls around. Not April, sorry, February rolls around. So out of this paycheck, I'm taking $150, but honestly, since we're doing it at the end of the month, I could split that into three, you know, since we get three paychecks this month. I could, I really could. Um, but I'm not because I already worked everything out and I don't feel like recalculating everything and then figuring out what I'm going to do with the extra money, but still, it's an option. Um, and then I was thinking about aftercare for the 15th, but again, Thomas is doing that bill, so the 15th is none of my business. All right. So when I go down to, um, after I calculate everything. All of my bills for April, for this first paycheck in April, are $330.94. So, that leaves me with $400.24 to take over into my envelopes and sinking funds. So, I calculated how much I wanted to put into my envelopes and for gas, I'm doing my usual 30 Groceries, I'm only doing 50 because honestly, between the deep freezer and our refrigerator, we're kind of stocked right now. And the $50 is mostly just for like Easter dinner. Like that's pretty much it. And yeah, pretty much Easter dinner because Tom Tom's cupcakes came out of birthday. So yeah, Easter dinner is coming out of groceries. So for self-care, I put 25 Household, I put 15 because I'm back to saving for my desk. I'm definitely going to go get my desk. I was holding off on it because Thomas was talking about, like, oh, we're going to move. And then I was talking about, like, the way it was working out before we got the kids into aftercare. Like, maybe I should go back to Jersey because, like, I have family there. And it would be easier for me to go to work and know that the boys will be taken care of. As opposed to out here, you have to be at work, I have to be at work, and then what are we going to do with the boys? So, we ended up working it out, but I still, now I want to start back up saving for my desk. And I did have to use some of my household envelope because I got everybody new uh, laundry baskets. Because the ones we had got from the dollar store, the way my family is set up, they demolished those. They were all breaking apart. Like, how do you break a laundry basket? Like, only my family. So I got everybody new laundry baskets, so I just wanna replace that money and again, start saving for my desk. Um, the miscellaneous is getting 10. Tom Tom and Theo are getting their usual 10 into their little savings envelopes. And then back to school is getting its usual 40. And beauty is getting 10. So for our envelopes our everyday envelopes and for uh, prep and landing that total is $200 which now leaves us with $190.24 which we take right on over into our sinking funds envelopes so um, for new car we're doing 15 new house we're doing 15 and retirement we're doing 25 um, so that is long term covered and then for emergency fund, we're putting $20. Travel is getting 10 because I need to start saving again because like I said, I used travel envelope to go towards 
my portion of the down payment for our Disney cruise. So I need to boost that back up. So to pay for um, our passports, because my passport expired and then the boys need their own passport. So that is $240 that I need to save. Because I, last time I looked at the paperwork, it is $120 per passport. So definitely need to start saving for that. So the goal for travel is to get to 240. So we're putting 10 into travel. Car maintenance is getting 15. I finally got my oil changed, but you know the mechanic, they always find some extra issues. So I actually have to go back. I have an appointment on the 7th because I have to get a new tire as well as they put like some dye in my um, oil tank because they were like, it was a little moist. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but they're like they're a little tiny hole they thought they saw so they just put dye in my oil to see where the leak could be coming from but like I don't get how it's a leak because outside there's like no oil stains underneath my car anytime I park so I don't know but whatever I know my baby's old so I just told him to do it so I go back on the seventh to see if they can figure out where the leak is and also to get the new tire and I need new windshield wipers, so they'll also be doing that on the 7th. And then business is getting its usual 10. Business also got depleted because I had to take everything in business and uh, go towards paying for my LLC risk in statement. Like apparently every year you have to renew um, with Ink Authority, who I got my LLC through for my business. You have to renew your registered agent. Like, I don't even know what that means. Y'all don't even get me to trying to explain about what it is. But apparently you're supposed to have like some sort of accountant or agency who like deals with all of your tax stuff, who lets you know of any notices that you need to comply with or laws or whatever. And the state requires it. So I had to pay $99 to reinstate, well, to renew my contract with my current uh, registered agent. So yeah, we have to build business back up again. But Lord of mercy. And then the others portion here is the usual um, birthday, Black Friday, and birthday, Black Friday, and I can never remember what is in that, oh, Christmas. All right, so that's what those three are, and they each get 10 a piece. So that brings all of our sinking funds over here to $140, which leaves us with $60.24, which brings us down here to student loans. I'm taking, of that $60.24 that we have left over, I'm taking 25 of that and putting it away into my student loan account. Um, which leaves me with $35.24. And I was actually thinking down here, I had actually thought about saving that $35.24 to go towards the next aftercare payment. But again, Thomas has that bill, so it's none of my business. So I actually probably, now that I think about it, I think I may just leave that $35.24 in my account as like a buffer because I do know I still have my life insurance and I actually have two life insurance policies that come out of my bank account. So I got one through one of my credit card companies and I got another one through the bank itself. You know how they send you the offers in the mail like, oh, we'll pay for a full year of free life insurance for you. And if you want any additional, like if this is how much it'll cost. So I got the additional. So they're doing it free for a year. And then I guess after that year, the additional that I signed up for will kick in and then I'll start paying for it because I honestly haven't seen it come out of my bank account yet. So I don't know, I have to double check on that. They sent me the policies in the mail. Um. So yeah, we'll just leave that 3524 in the bank as a buffer to cover any overages or bills that I forgot about so that we don't have any overdraft problems. Ain't nobody got time for that. 
All right. And then you just go over to the other page. I write everything out again. Yeah, I hope this is in frame. All right. So I just write everything out again and how much I said I was gonna put away for it. And this is when things get into your cash envelope breakdown of how many bills you want to take out, um, how many tens, how many fives, all of that. So, um, I really don't even know if I should explain all of this because it actually has changed. And it is no longer the same. So, because we are not taking out for gas anymore and we are not taking out for groceries. I told you I already went to the bank and withdrew that money. So this will actually change. I actually do not need any money for these two categories. So that takes away three 20s and two 10s, which would make us, yeah, we only need to take out 12 10s and four 20s. So I just need to correct that on my phone because I do, once I do the cash breakdown, of how I want, what bills exactly I want to take out for each envelope. I do put this, um, the total bill count down here. I put that in my phone in the little notes section so that way when I go to the bank, I can just tell them, hey, this is the amount of how much I want to take out, which all of it added up, all of my envelopes and sinking funds is $340. So once I go to the bank, I say, hey, I want to take out $340 and this is how I want to take it out. I want 12 fives, 12 tens, four 20s, and then this time around we don't need any 50s or 100s. So, write it on my phone, and that way when I go in there, I am all ready to go. And then, go right to the next page, which is for the 16th, 16th paycheck. So yeah, that is my budget, guys. I just wanted to do this video because I knew I wasn't gonna be doing a cash stuffing. And so, I was just like, I gotta give the people something. Give them something. But that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know if you like these budgeting videos. I will try to do some more of them. And then next time, maybe I won't already have it filled out. And for next month, well not next month, but next paycheck, we can do it together. And you guys can like, see me filling in all the categories and breaking everything down and how I do it but for this one I just had to already have it done because math is hard and it requires a lot of math and then sometimes you like go back and forth like you see I was scratching stuff out like adding more money and taking away money so I wanted to make sure I had my stuff together but next time I'll be better so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Can I take you there?